Hi, I'm back again. Yeah, sorry, as you can see up there, the sign, it says, um, the um, cult of Scientology brainwashes members and destroys the families. And that's my sign, by the way, and uh, I've had that up at uh, the Manchester um, protests uh, now for many, many months, and Scientology keep asking me to um, take it down, or, or the tele-police, um, uh, that is uh, upsetting them, and of course it will upset them, because it's the bloody truth, so there we go. Um, but it keeps going up there, and um, Joe and Val are, um, have done signs as well, in fact I'll just show you that one quickly. There you go. Danger, the Church of Scientology will control your mind. That's it. Danger, the Church of Scientology will control your mind. Okay, this is part two of the video, and um, I've just read out the letter for, we uh, had back from Scotland Yard, and um, as I say, I am clean as a whistle. I have no uh, criminal background or anything, and uh, my daughter uh, knows that. She's seen this letter and everything. So what I wanted to do ideally with this letter is get the two families together, uh, that's Joe and Val and uh, Sue and I and David and Becky. Um, so I asked Becky if she would uh, agree to this and uh, she did do. So uh, I thought that's great. So I come to organise it and said, you know, when would David be free? And um, the short of the tall is um, he won't uh, have the family meeting, he will not do it at all. So um, I've asked and asked and asked and um, the only people I can think of now who uh, talk about uh, bringing families together is Scientology and uh, Mr. Graham Wilson who's head of communications has said this on the Radio 2, the Jeremy Vine show um, it's all about bringing families together and uh, certainly will um, ask Becky to sort her problems out uh, which they're not Becky's problems at all, they're uh, Scientology's problems which they've created uh, within our family so we've, uh, you know, we've, we sent him a letter which Val and uh, Joe um, helped with me and Sue and uh, this went out on the 2nd of February uh, because we want some help from them um, and this reads uh, basically, I sent it to three addresses, sorry, the first one went to St. Hill at um, Manchester, sorry, St. Hill at East Grimstead and um, to um, Manchester as well, the org where um, David and Becky attends. So uh, the other one, sorry, was to the President, Church of Scientology, American St. Hill Organization, 1413 L. Ron Hubbard Way, Los Angeles, CA 90027, United States. And my letter reads, oh sorry, not say my letter, the letter from the four of us reads, and we all sign this, Dear Sir, <coughs> excuse me, read Becky Thurston and David Fryer. As you are aware, we are the parents of David and Becky, and because our son and daughter have made commitments towards each other for the future, we feel it right, as their parents, to express our joint concern about their association with Scientology. New paragraph. Independently, we have requested that your organisation act in a responsible way, not only toward our children, but to us as their respective families. So far we haven't received any correspondence or response to the various letters we have written and this isn't good, this, sorry, this isn't a good sign. It's been about nine letters by the way and uh, over 12 months and they haven't uh, sent us one reply back. Um, right, corporations as large as yours and one which claim such social enlightenment have an obligation to at least acknowledge that they may have played a part in the changes they have caused or to be concerned in the first place. We already recognise that the teachings of Scientology have influenced David and Becky's personality, thinking and attitude towards us as their parents. We have not changed in our love and concern for the welfare of our children Therefore, we look to you to play a more responsible role. Allow us to state that, allow us to state with clarity that the information we have available to us comes from the public domain and is factual and relevant and readily available. If it was incorrect or just fabrication, Scientology, with its litigious reputation, would have most certainly dealt with this. 
We believe that Becky and David are not aware of any such information, but more importantly, if they were aware of this information before they became involved with Scientology, we believe they would not have continued any further. The love, care and concern for our children dictates that we continue to stand by them <coughs> even when under your influence. They would prefer us to see Scientology the way they do. With the knowledge we have, this can never happen. We request once again that you relinquish, relinquish them from any obligations they may believe they may have with you and encourage them to have a family discussion with those who love them. Yes, those who love them. We will await seven days for your response. Finally, we reserve the right to use this and any other correspondence in the furtherance of our inquiries as each attempt by us to encourage you to act in a way that is morally acceptable passes by. Our resolve hardens and our inquiries are forced ever further afield. Signed, Mrs. Valfryer, Mr. Joel Fryer, Mrs. S. L. Thurston and myself, Mr. A. R. Lee. That letter was sent on the 2nd of February. We have had no response as yet and we don't expect to have any from your Scientology. Well, we, we, we would expect it from a, a decent organisation, but uh, you're not. Um, now, all I'm going to say now is, as you said before, I love my daughter Rebecca, and she does. We have never ever had any problems like this in all of our life, and Becky hasn't. Your SPPTS courses do not work. They're all about handling. Handling. You're never going to handle Sue or me, even if you force Becky's hand to disconnect and David's hand to disconnect. Becky loves us. She's told us she will not disconnect. She's listening to us. She knows a lot of the... Um, um, information in the Panorama program that first went out where we first uh, saw that some years ago is now true. She's not denying any of it. We're getting through to her. What you're doing though is interfering with Becky and David's future. Our future, we carry on fighting. We're never going to stop this till we get our daughter and son out. There's a future son in law out. But you are actually breaking Becky and David apart. I don't want to get into their personal side, but um, I know you are going to end up breaking my daughter's heart. Um, you've nearly broken it now. I won't stand for it. And I mean it. I will not stand for it. You can do what the hell you want to with me, but I will not stand for it. I really won't. I am taking this all the way. I have more evidence uh, about your crimes, and, and then, uh, sorry, th th those, that evidence is going to be made public if you do not respond to what um, I'm asking. That's not a threat. It's not a threat at all. I mean what I'm saying. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, call it a day on that now but um, as I said before this is fair game which they're doing between uh, the, the, the family um, by um, saying I'm a criminal and I'm not okay thanks very much and um, I wish any parents out there if they ever go through this to um, take heart from what I'm saying these people with in, involved in Scientology and I don't mean the um, Scientologists themselves because I say they're victims but the upper levels the management side and some of the OT8s and I know, I know um, one personally in Manchester they are not people they are people not to be uh, taken lightly they talk utter rubbish and nonsense and they'll lie like there's no tomorrow Okay, thanks for listening to this. As you can see, I'm very, very angry, and uh, Sue is as well. But you won't break us, but you'll probably break Becky the way you're going. And I'm not having her end up like some of the other casualties. 
So if you want to go on to www.whyarethedead.org, you'll see a lot of these people, and a new name's just gone up there as well. Okay, many thanks. Bye.